I'm Lee Morris. And I'm Patrick Hall. Together, we created fstoppers.com, and we have teamed up with Elia Licardi to create the most in-depth tutorial on all things landscape and cityscape photography. Join us as we take you behind the scenes and around the world to over seven unique countries in our quest to find the perfect landscape photographs. In this episode, we visit a natural glacier ice cave. Siggy tries to murder me, and then he tries to take advantage of me. All right, so I've now mounted this GoPro to the back of this uh, Mitsubishi. I just put the super clamp on this little tiny lip. It was the only thing I could find that the super clamp would actually connect to. And then we position the arms so that this shot has a lot of the car, but it has the horizon. Although the footage was a little bouncy, it ended up working out pretty well. Siggy, our photography guide, had us pull over so that he could get a shot of his own. Today we were heading to the Glacier Ice Cave, and as you can see, we would not have been able to make it in our standard van. We needed a special guide and this 4x4. So we've arrived to the glacier after a bumpy ride. And it is time to go hiking. And we have a ton of gear with us. What do you think? I think it's pretty awesome. Might be the coolest thing I've ever gotten to do. Yeah, this is pretty exciting. No. This might be the highlight of the trip for me. I know, we haven't even made it to the cave yet. We're just walking around out here in the ice and it's like, I actually feel like an adventurer. So we're out here in the middle of nowhere and all of a sudden, Siggy kind of ruins the experience <laughs> by taking uh, a yeah, cell phone call. I have to make a call to my mistress. Why uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta make uh, it creepy, Siggy? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We continued walking and finally made it to the mouth of the cave. This cave was created naturally by water flowing beneath a giant glacier. It's much warmer in here too, which is great. This is crazy looking. Yeah. It's trapping some of the heat in. Once we scouted the entire location, I set up the drone and started getting some B-roll shots. For this shot, I'm actually hand holding the drone, but then I had the bright idea to actually try to fly the drone into the cave. But it wasn't totally my fault because when you go into the cave with the drone, it loses GPS and then it just starts drifting. Like you touch it and it like floats forever. So you, you're constantly know. having to go forward, backward, forward, backward, sideways. What kind of rationale is that? It's not really my fault because the equipment can't function in the situation that I put it in. <laughs> exactly. So we're in a bit of a strange situation here. We're trying to film uh, this ice cave shoot and uh, we've run into another group that's here and apparently they are here uh, taking shots that they're going to stitch together for some new video game. I want to ask them. I, I think I heard them mention Half-Life 3. I'm not sure though. I think it might be confirmed. We could uh, ask when they're done if they could move out, but dude! It looked like there was an ecosystem on the, top of the, on the front of the lens. We're in the middle of nowhere where nobody ever goes in Iceland. You never ever run into or encounter anybody back here. 
This is a rare Icelandic human. You rarely encounter anybody else on the road in Iceland. This is very rare. Enjoy it while it lasts, because we'll never see anybody out here again. So Elia right now, he's run out there. He's getting a selfie at 30 seconds uh, at the edge of the ice cave. I think it's gonna look pretty good in the video. Okay, so the timer's enabled. I'm just gonna click this and then I'm gonna run out into the frame. This lesson ended up being all about scale and Elia used his own body to show just how massive the ice cave was. So I've taken a couple selfies and I think they both look really cool. One, I'm just kind of standing there and the other one I'm using the cool ice pick. Um, now the only thing is, is I'm not exactly sure which one I like better. So the next thing we're gonna do is bring all this into post and put it all together. And they were never heard from again. I know I said the other day at the waterfall that it was the craziest thing I'd ever seen. And I was wrong. Oh wow. This is the craziest thing I have ever seen. That ice cave and this landscape I mean, this is not Earth. This is, I can't believe it. Working on B-roll shots here. Uh, Those boots waterproof? <laughs> yes. How does that look, Patrick? Watch it back. Make sure that looks realistic. Oh. Take your gloves off. You gotta do it again. Patrick failed to record once again. All this work for a literal like half second clip of the video, but I guess this is what we have to do. So we're continuing on with more footage of the car. We're gonna have Siggy in the car. I have this walkie talkie so I can talk to him. He's got to turn his on though. It's on. Is it? Lee's getting ready to fly the drone here. We got Siggy driving. We got the walkie talkies going. And then we have uh, Elia here having what? Some granola, some trail mix. Trail mix. Yeah. Letting uh, these guys do all the work. That big splash, did we capture it or was the drone over the car? No, it was in front still. It was in front, so. Uh, can we check it out? Yeah! Wow. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Success! Yeah. I want to do a similar shot. It starts with uh, splashing in water and then I uh, come out with uh, my favorite weapon, which is uh, this one here. That's the wrong movie, Siggy. This oh. is a tutorial on landscape photography. Oh, okay. The wrong one. Even though we have a uh, server and a switch here, and obviously this whole thing's backed up with RAID, I am still backing up the entire project as we go onto another external hard drive just in case something happened. We have used 27% of our storage space in eight days. And this project is supposed to take at least 60 days. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do about storage. After backing up all of the footage from earlier in the day, I decided to go out with Siggy and have a few drinks. Um, here we are about to have a, uh, an Icelandic vodka, Reka vodka. This is uh, ice cubes from the Glacier Lagoon. This uh, ice is maybe, um, must be around 1,000 years old or something. A thousand year old ice. You see uh, how clear the ice is? That's because it's so compressed. This is actually the glacier from the glacier. A uh, huge amount of snow pressed into ice, not because the temperature is so high, but the weight of the glacier is pushing the uh, the uh, the water, pressing it uh, to this uh, massive ice cube. Alrighty, 
And we're not mixing this with anything, huh? We're, we're just... Not, uh, no, we are not uh, mixing it, this one uh, with anything. We're just enjoying the, the flavor of this wonderful vodka. Oh, Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> This is so smooth. Yeah. Mm. And 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 like, let's say a few seconds later, you feel uh, how it is uh, getting into your the warmth, the warmth of it <laughs> yeah. down the throat and yeah, yeah, and up to the brain and you start. <laughs> yes, I do feel this rush into my yeah. brain. And you start getting so much inspiration. <laughs> Siggy and I got very inspired that night. And if you guys stay tuned for next week's episode, you're gonna see how things get even crazier. Oh, look at what you've done, Siggy. Oh, shit. Look no at ever. what you have done. Siggy, I thought you were a professional. What are you doing? I just got a stuck, <laughs> so stop filming. <laughs> to learn more about this entire photography tutorial, head over to fstoppers.com slash Lyle